Hello, my name is Luigi Ferraro. Uh, let me tell you a bit more about uh, myself. From 2020, I've been a postdoc at Texas Tech University. My research mentor is Lars Christensen. From 2017 to 2020, I was a postdoc at Wake Forest University, and my research mentor was Frank Moore. And from 2011 to 2017, I was a graduate student at the University of Nebraska Lincoln, and my advisors were Srikant Yenger and Lujo Avramov. Uh, my research interests are on the homological properties of commutative and non-commutative rings and invariant theory. Uh, at my CHAMP talk and uh, for this elevator pitch, uh, I want to focus on my most recent submission, uh, which is titled The Homotopy Algebra of a Tor Independent Tensor Product, which is a joint work with Moss and Gaby, Dave Jorgensen, Nicolas, Nicolas Pokowskas, and Josh Pollitz. So let me start with a bit of history. First, uh, first the setup. So we have a community uh, local ring, RMK. M is the maximal ideal case the residue field. We have two ideals, I1 and I2 in M. Uh, and then we define S1 to be the quotient ring R modulo I1, S2 is the quotient ring R modulo I2, and S is the tensor product. Another question that one uh, can wonder is uh, how do the homological properties of these four rings relate? In 1975, uh, Avramov was interested in knowing uh, how the Tor algebras of these four rings relate. And he proved the following theorem. He proved that if R is a reg regular ring, and if these ideals are contained in the square of the maximal ideal, and moreover, if the product of I2 and I1 is equal to the intersection, then one has this nice isomorphism of Tor algebras. He actually proved something more, his uh, theorem um, holds true under more general hypothesis, and he shows that one has a spectral sequence relating these algebras, but under this hypothesis, the spectral sequence collapses, and you have this, uh, this isomorphism. Now, three years later, uh, Avramov uh, uh, generalized this theorem in his paper on small homomorphisms. What's a small homomorphism? An homomorphism from R to S is small if the induced map on Tor algebras is injective. So in, uh, in this paper, Avramov proved that if one of these projections is small and if S1 and S2 are Tor independent, then one has this isomorphism of Tor algebras. The reason why this is a generalization on the previous theorem is because uh, uh, a map from a regular ring modulo an ideal in the square is always small. And furthermore, of a regular ring, the Tor independency of S1 and S2 um, is equivalent to this equality. So the hypothesis of this theorem do generalize the hypothesis of the previous theorem. So that's, uh, that's his work. Uh, recently, uh, my collaborators and I have been wondering what is the relation between a different cohomological invariant of these four rings. Uh, the invariant that we focused on is the homotopy algebra of the ring, uh, which is a cohomological invariant that one constructs from derivations on a DG algebra resolution of the residue field, and it's denoted by pi of the ring. So we were wondering how um, these four Lie algebras relate to each other. Uh, before I give you the statement of our theorem, um, I need to give you a bit uh, of terminology. Uh, there have been two weakenings of the smallness conditions, of the smallness condition that has been studied uh, that have been studied in the past. Um, the almost smallness condition and the Gullikson minimality condition, and they are uh, weakenings in the sense that uh, if a map is small, then it's almost small, and if a map is almost small, then it's Gullikson minimal. So what is the main theorem that we proved? We proved that uh, if S1 and S2 are Tor independent, and if one of these three conditions is satisfied, so either the characteristic of K is zero, or one of these projections is almost small, or both projections are Gullix and minimal, then one is this isomorphism of Lie algebras. So the Lie algebra of S is actually the Faber product or pullback of the Lie algebras of S1 and S2 over the Lie algebra of R. Now, from this theorem, we were actually able to deduce a generalization of uh, Avramov's theorem. And that's because the, the Tor algebra of a ring and uh, its uh, homotopy Lie algebra are actually related. If you take the universal enveloping algebra of the Lie algebra and you dualize it, you actually get the Tor algebra. So using this fact, and functorial properties of the functors U and the dualization functor, 
we were actually able to prove that the isomorphism in tor algebras given by Abramov um, holds true under this more general hypothesis, which are the same hypothesis of our main theorem. I'll recall that uh, the hypothesis that Avramov required is um, that one of these two projections uh, has to be small. So this was one of the applications that we gave. We gave more applications on the goldness of the map from R to the tensor product, on the stable cohomology of the ring S, on the Poincaré series of K over the ring S, and on entry equivalent cohomology of S. And I will talk uh, uh, in more details about uh, these applications at my champ talk. Thank you. <laughs>